Hi guys, welcome to Production Expert. My name's Dan Cooper. We've got a very exciting exclusive for you here as uh, Waves have just released a new plugin. This is called CLA Mix Hub. And I must say, any Waves plugin which bears the CLA seal of approval is always a good plugin in my books. Now this is a hardcore emulation of Chris Lord Algae's own SSL board, but it's so much more than just a console emulation. Now let's just be real here. There are countless SSL console plugins out there. What makes this different? Well, this is one of only a few plugins that I feel has truly captured the essence of mixing on a large format console, especially in, let's say, today's digital audio workflows in which we use something like, let's say, Pro Tools as a tape or playback machine with the console driving the mix. Now, this particular feature that I feel sets this apart from other SSL console plugins is so good that I think that this CLA Mix Hub is quite possibly the best plugin that Waves have released in years. Quite a statement, I know. I'll share my thoughts on that later. First, let's give you a quick guided tour. Now, the idea of this is that you load it across every channel in your mix, as I've done, and the main window that loads up here is your channel strip, your input section, EQ, dynamics, and a spare section in which you can host another Waves plugin, which is very nice. Meters at the top right there, and main level control by use of a fader. You can bypass sections very easily here, rearrange if we wish. All pretty standard stuff so far, and yes, we've seen this in other SSL plugins by other plugin developers, but stay with me. At the top right, we've got this button called Bucket View. This is where things start to get very interesting indeed. Now in this mix, I've got multi-track drums, bass guitar, and a keyboard part. For each of the drum channels, I've assigned bucket number one. For the other two instruments, bass and keyboards, I have assigned bucket number two. Very easily done at the top here. And we've got eight buckets in which we can use. So for larger mixes, you might have, let's say, all the guitars on bucket two, all the vocals on bucket three, however you want to work. This enables us to hit this bucket view, and we have the eight buckets at the top here. If we click on number one, the drums, we now get like a global view of each of the channels, input stages, EQ, dynamics, and output. How cool is this? Over in Pro Tools, I've got all my faders set to Unity. Got a little bit of panning going on because you can't do panning from within this plugin. And I'm gonna mix using just this, the CLA mix up like a console. Other plugins of this type, you work on a channel individually. So you work on your kick drum, you close the plugin, you'd open the next plugin on the snare drum and you'd work kind of that way. Nothing wrong with that, but this enables us to work on an entire mix or within one plugin. Now, if memory serves me well, there's only one other plugin out there that can do something like this, and that's Softube Console 1. But that's hardware dependent. You need the Console 1 control surface to be able to do that sort of mixing. This, you don't need any hardware. You've just got the plugin and you can get going. And that's what we're gonna do now. So, on the input stage, all fairly self-explanatory. Line and mic. Now the line on default set to 12 o'clock up the middle is a very clean sounding sort of input stage. And we can use this to back off the level into the console or sort of remove it quite substantially and introduce the mic pre, which gives us more saturation. It's a, a nice color. Flip the phase, 20 dB pads and our filters, low and high pass. EQ section, remember I'm working on bucket one. It shows us at the top here the track names as they are in Pro Tools, so overhead, kick, snare, tom one, two, and three. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna assume you all know how to use an SSL EQ. It's all there, all very easy to use, sounds absolutely spot on. Dynamic section, this is where things get a little bit interesting. We've got two compressors at the top here. On default, we've got the desk dynamics. Hit the type button though. We're gonna switch over to the 1176 Bluey mode which is an absolutely brilliant plugin on its own, but it's nice to see it's incorporated into this plugin. Ratio, threshold, and release are the main controls here. That's all we really need. Below that, we've got the noise gate, expander, ducker. Again, toggle between these with the type. Sidechain EQ at the bottom here. External sidechain, again, all pretty self-explanatory stuff. And last but no means least, meters and our faders as well. Now we can only work on eight tracks in a bucket. As I said, bucket two, I've got keys and bass. If this was a bigger production, I would be populating these other buckets with all the different sort of families of instruments and channels. But for this video, I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple. So let's put CLA Mix Hub to work. Let's hear how it performs. Let's see how this bucket workflow works. <laughs> So, 
going to have a little play around with the mic level on the snare, see if we can get that to sound a little bit more interesting. It's obviously increasing the volume a little bit, so I'm going to back off the line a touch. Let's cut some of the lows, high pass filter down here on the overheads. Might increase the mic level a little bit on the overheads. And back off the level of the line. Nice. Let's move across to EQ. Overheads, let's put a bit of sparkle in there. Kick drum, a little bit of weight in the bottom ends. Nice. Get some of that click out, around about 3K. Only a little bit. And touch brightness again on that snare. Not too much. Sounds nice, sounds nice. Now, what I find with this plugin is that I'm not really tempted to do bypassing, uh, comparing before and after. Working on a large format console kind of eggs you on just to shape the sound and keep moving through the mix, you know, trust in your instincts sort of thing. And uh, yeah, this, yeah, absolutely, it's making me work very fluidly. And because there's no sort of solos or mute buttons within this plugin, I'm forced sort of more to work on the mix as a bigger picture, which is great. Let's have a little play around with some dynamics. Start with the snare drum. Switch over to the Bluey 1176. Right, bring the threshold down. Push it. That's nice, that's nice. Same with the kick, let's go for the Bluey. Excellent. Now there's toms. Not a big fan of toms rumbling when they're not being played, so let's introduce a noise gate on each of those. Just going to go for some basic settings. Bring the range up, and let's have a listen. There we go, noise gates are fully closed, as you can see there on the meters. We'll have a listen when it comes up to hear if they're set correctly. Excellent. Let's get a little mix going. Maybe that snare is just a touch too proud in the mix. Let's bring it down. Sounds good. Let's jump across that piano. It's a bit loud. Let's bring the output down. Right, let's do some work to that bass guitar. So I'm in bucket two now. Over to EQ, bass. Let's get some more thump out of that bass. Cut some of the highs. Round out the sound a bit more. Lower the line, increase the mic, get a bit of saturation going. Oh, that's nice, much fuller sounding. Bit of compression again, 1176. Sounds nice. Let's bring the level of it down just a touch. You know what, that snare can come up a bit now. Back across to bucket number one. Sounds absolutely brilliant. But it's not just about the sound, it's the it's the workflows. You can see here, I haven't left the plugin at all. Pro Tools, the mix window there, you can see faders all set to Unity. Haven't touched anything there. Haven't been tempted to listen to things in solo, mute. It's all about dialing in settings to sweeten things in a mix. It's lovely. Now, the only thing you can't do in this plugin when it comes to viewing settings is the channel view. For instance, at the minute, I'm viewing the bass channel in the uh, sort of expanded view. And if I wanted to look at the snare drum, for instance, I'd have to click the plugin insert in order to do that. 
But as I said, you can always work in bucket view, which I think is the way many of you out there are going to be working with this because this really is the party piece of the plugin. As I said at the beginning, we can load in another Waves plugin. So if you didn't like, let's say the dynamic section here, you can always bypass that, go for something different. So let's say like a CLA 2A, very nice. Meters in, out, gain reduction. Yeah, this has everything that you need from a console emulation and so much more. That's pretty much the whole plugin in a nutshell, except for one more thing. And that is that I'm so impressed with this plugin that I'm awarding it an expert's choice award. To find out my full verdict, do click that card at the top right of the screen or the link in the description below. Hope you guys got something from this. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert and I'll see you again soon.